Hey guys, Andy here. Now, it's not often that I do app videos. Um, it's usually because I think I found something pretty special and that you guys should know about it. And when I say I found, I, found, I mean that I've watched literally hours of check out these app videos yesterday on YouTube and I've picked out a few of the, of the really good ones. Um, and this one I think could revolutionize how you use your device. And I'm not kidding, it's kind of, well, it's Android gestures as they should have been done by Google, really. So if we look, for example, so that's what we've got on Android P on my Pixel XL, uh, Pixel 2 XL. So we do a swipe up, we get the apps, we do a long swipe up with Android, and I like it, I like it, but why can't I swipe, like, honestly I thought to myself, well, why is there a button to go back, why can't I swipe to there to go back? And at the same time, why have we even got buttons? If we're doing gestures, why is there buttons? Why are they still taking like a good centimetre of my screen to do that? It just I thought it kind of weird. I do like them, don't get me wrong. Um, but it just seemed a little bit odd in some ways. So, enter navigation gestures. Now you can't even see it down the bottom there at the moment, but there's a little pill there. And if I swipe up and hold, it's gonna go into my app switcher. And now you can just make it out. So I've made it, if the camera will focus, so I've made it quite transparent. If I just swipe at once, then we're on home. Um, if I swipe to the right, we go to the last app, which happens to be, whoopsie, give me that. We'll just go straight in. Happens to be navigation gestures. Um, so enable gesture pill, just, we can turn that on off and hide navigation bar. Now, to get it to work though, so it doesn't need root, which is a good thing, but these days the kind of alternative to root is connecting your phone up to your computer and issuing some commands via what's called ADB. Um, so you need to download ADB in the first place. Then you need to go into your phone settings. You need developer options to be available. To do that, you go into wherever it says about the build number and you tap that seven times. Now you see mine says no need, it's already been done. So then you go to developer options and you make sure that USB debugging is uh, is turned on. Then you open up a command prompt where the ADB XE is and you issue the command um, that I will leave. Well, I'll put it on the screen, but I'll also put it in the video description. But as I said, I'll link to, uh, there is an actual sort of an XDA video where they explain how to do it as well. So you need to have done that. Now, what I would say, I think you need to be very careful because I get a bit paranoid about if that pill vanishes, if this app closes down, how do you function? How do you, you know, you can't go back to home, you can't app switch, you can't, you can't do a lot of things. <laughs> so I don't know, I'm not sure what, let's just hope that doesn't happen, I suppose. And it has, hasn't as yet. Now you will also find that when it's running, you generally get a notification, but I've, I've masked that. Again, you go into uh, apps, you find the, the app itself, notifications, you can see, look, I've blocked them. That doesn't, so I, at first I was worried, will that, will that mean it will go to sleep at some point in the app? But it doesn't, it just means you just don't see the notification. It's still effectively there, which is what it needs to do to be able to constantly run. So let's have a look at what you can actually do in the settings. The important thing, gestures. Now I've not actually tried the split pill. I don't entirely understand what the benefit of a split pill would be. Be aware if you turn that on and then turn that off, it's very likely gonna clear all of your stored actions. So you can do things on just on taps. So I have got the long press brings up the Google Assistant, but I'm more about the swipes. So swipe left goes back, um, swipe right goes to the previous app, swipe up goes home, swipe up and hold goes to recent apps. You can swipe down to hide the pill again. I'm gonna turn that off because I did have that happen and my pill disappeared and I was, again, I was a little panicking, like, where's it gone? And it was just because I must have somehow swiped down on it. So there you go, you can see to home, um, back, back, app switcher. Uh, then is the appearance. That's the next very important thing. So you get to set the color, which can be one of many. And then I've gone very high transparency so that it's not so visible. I don't particularly want it very visible. Um, you can have a border around the pill. So in fact, in theory, you could have a totally transparent inner 
part and then just a just a line for drawing of it uh pill corner radius how curved you want it to be uh the width of the pill so you can have a huge big wide thing or a, a much much smaller i prefer smaller again I want, I want it to be like not so noticeable really pill height so we're at 58 oh uh there we go so again so you can change the height um you can offset it left or right you can have it offset higher or lower now the one thing i find if it's higher like that it, you can't swipe from the bottom you have to swipe from the pill yeah which i don't particularly want so i've got it literally so that's if there's any gap it won't necessarily swipe from the bottom so as it is now i can start off the screen and i can bring it all the way in so for me that's the best way to go um what else do we have behavior Honestly, I don't think I've particularly messed about with this that much. Hide in full screen apps. Um, show pill in car mode. Oh yeah, I did do a little bit of this. So I, I increased the, the distance. I had to swipe up to get it to do the app switching bit or to do the going home because I was finding it was a little bit too easy. What I would like them to do, Mr. Developer, if you're listening, is put in a long swipe because I do quite like on Android P, you go um, part way for the app switcher, you go all the way for the app drawer. That would be quite cool. Uh, going back to the gestures in fact so the one thing you need pro for I think so let's say swipe right and hold if I wanted an app um, launch app look that is that just the premium version oh I'm not quite sure why it's even let me do this but maybe it's then going to tell me that I can't actually do it though there we go and then we see there it's only one pound 29 which is not a lot but again very quickly i just feel they come it comes very natural i just think i do think it's fantastic it is possibly now my new favorite app um so let me know your thoughts in the comments down below but for now my name's andy and i'll catch you all again soon Well done and thank you for making it to the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, you might want to click the little fellow that should hopefully appear about here to subscribe. Um, you may also want to check out some of my other videos which are going to appear somewhere there. Um, also come have a look at my website, androidandy.uk. Um, there is also a forum. Come and say hello on the forum if you've got any questions about things or request me to review things or anything else. Just come and have a chat on the forum.